social media we are Nigerians themselves Rena, are speaking out <laughs> and they are speaking <laughs> the hell loud and clear yeah so <laughs> all right Rena good morning good morning to you good welcome morning. Rena thank you okay so. I see you are enjoying yourselves that you that you took my time <laughs> oh <laughs> really? no fault of ours you know no when, it of ours. when it comes to the state of the nation but we'll give you extra time so you're not losing anything you look beautiful by the way thanks black belt black person absolutely black so I've, I've started a thing I actually copied it from um, a colleague not okay. Uh, in the station in Lagos okay. who does one color a week so oh, it helps fantastic. you narrow your search instead mm -hmm. of looking for what to wear you know that you are looking for a red thing to wear you are looking <laughs> for a black thing to wear so <laughs> nice idea. black is the theme of the week and mm. I have searched looking for black so you have, them, you have the ensemble arranged absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> looking forward to the next one uh, <laughs> all right, then. Yeah, catch you later all right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Kakaki Social. Thank you so much for holding on. I am Rena Obosegi. Now, the father of the four-year-old girl that was sexualized, who was arrested by the police, says he only wanted his daughter to be a celebrity. In case you missed it, the father, Suleiman, had posted offensive pictures of the child in suggestive poses on Instagram over the weekend ahead of her birthday on May 28. Well, all the photos were taken inside a hotel room and a club hall where the little girl was encouraged to climb tables and make advances as strippers do. Now, in a video captured at the police command headquarters in Aouchi, Etsako, West local government area of Edo State, the father says he had pure intention of dressing up the child how he did. Anyway, I don't, I don't mean to harm anybody, but it's just because I'm, I'm also used to watching people in the uh, contest creation, commenting for those other people. So me, I have no issue. I think she's too small. I can't do comment. the camera. I think she's too small and she can't be doing comment. I decided to brought her up in a model way. She be wearing model dress, all those kind of what by cover as uh, to make her as a model. Uh, this uh, this month is her birthday, May 28. I went to go at birthday bash to post on her Instagram yesterday at like 11, like 11 a.m. in the morning. That went viral this month. Yes, I want her to become a celebrity. I want her to become a celebrity. Is it good or bad? Well, the other state's government has taken custody of the child and government agencies like NAPTIB are working with Meta to see that the child's Instagram account with similar pictures is brought down. Let's see how you reacted. This is from Edo State and that's the child there. Of course, you know you cannot see her face because she's in a mess. Um, this user says, imagine him still explaining to prove a point. He needs counsel and orientation. He isn't even seen anything wrong in all he did. Ignorance has eaten so deep in him. Also reacting on Instagram is Ifis Kitchen who says, please, what will happen to that nightclub that allowed her in? A good question right there because, I mean, they are usually accomplices in cases like this. And then Sarah says, I hope that people learn the importance of social service providers from this one institution that is non-existent in this country. And let's see more stories. And this is between the Women Affairs Minister and the Speaker of Niger State House of Assembly, Ado Malik Sariki Daji, who says that he is ready to meet the minister in court. And this is because of the planned marriage of 100 girls orphaned by bandits. While well, lambasting the minister's petition to the IGP without seeking clarification on the proposal, but based on social media report, he stresses that she has no idea what his constituency needs are. If she called me and said, Speaker, come, I want to see you in Abuja. Let us sit on a round table. This is what we got about you. How do you hope to do these things? Can't we do it this way? How can we be of help to these people? I will appreciate her. And I will be submissive to whatever idea she has put on the table. So as it is right now, I'm not threatened by the action of the minister. And whatever this press release would degenerate, that is for the minister to handle. I'm not going back. If that support that I intend to give, it's an issue for the minister. I have already advised them to support, and I'm not going to claim it back. For the marriage of those orphans, I've withdrawn. The parent can have the support. If they wish, let them go ahead and marry them out. If they wish, let them use it for whatever purpose they want to. I've done it in good faith. 
All right, so that's the speaker right there. He says he would have preferred that he was invited over to Abuja. How did you react to this development? Let's see um, how it went down. Coco says a man is not a financial plan. Please empower them with scholarships and vocational programs. The federal government can liaise with foundations across the world. They don't have to bear the burden alone. Marrying these children that need rehabilitation is an absolute no. Without financial stability, their kids will end up in the same cycle of poverty and banditry. This is not the right strategy. And then more thoughts also coming from another user. On Instagram too is this one who says, funny how some daddies are in line to carry five girls home in the name of marriage. Well, maybe they would have just had like two Let's assume that they had two already, maybe not up to five. And then Spider DK says, like I said, this might cause a confusion that will affect other people who have nothing to do with it. The minister should have asked questions before threatening to do anything. In the North, they see this as a very, very comfortable and values it so much. And even it has been backed with religion just to scare people away from criticizing it. Said they said it reduces prostitution and increases their population, then allow them to do their thing. That's um, both sides of the table right there. Let's move away to have more thought on what's trending this morning on Kakaki Social. Well, reactions are trailing the Enugu state government's intention to construct a 380-room five-star hotel in the state capital, Enugu. It is expected to be done with within 12 months after start. Well, the hotel project has been awarded to a Chinese firm and the state commissioner for culture and tourism, Ugochi Maduike, who briefed journalists on the development, noted that international flights have not been coming to the state because of the absence of such hotels. There is need for that five-star hotel, especially with our International Conference Center and also the International Airport. Part of the reason why we have not had any other international flight coming into Enugu is because they don't believe in any of the hotels we have here. So the need for this five-star hotel can never be emphasized. Oh. Presidential is presidential hotel, 100 rooms. This is a five-star hotel, 380 rooms. We even need more. Our target is to have 5,000 keys in Enugu. As we speak, we are not even up to 2,000 yet. All right, then, hopefully, maybe that will bring the business and the flight international ones that she noted. Let's see some thoughts on this one from the space of X. Bull Dong says, how can government be building hotels? Sometimes I wonder how we find ourselves in this kind of primitive reasoning. We have so many billionaires that can build five-star hotels. Leadership in Nigeria is just the worst out there. How are you sure about that? And then Ajuba101 says, is that what you call job creation? Where youths will be waiters and waitresses and you call that a job? Why not focus on building industries? That's what real employment is all about. Even a high, well-equipped technology school is a far better idea. You think too small. Okay, more thoughts on Instagram on X yesterday. Namesworth says, enable the private sector to lead this venture. Government has no business in running this business. Provide the environment. Let a capable local investor drive the growth. All right, so more stories at this point and more reactions to stories that are trending. Well, this was a sad one on the space of social media yesterday. It's a video of some Nigerian army officers crying that are surfaced online. Well, while it is not clear exactly what the event was or when it happened, the action suggests that they lost a colleague to terrorist attack on the field, and this is rebirthing sympathy from netizens. <laughs> uh, stop crying, okay. Stop crying, please. Stop crying. Stop crying, please. Stop crying. I tell you guys, this morning in my mind, not a here. I'm not telling you. Ah. <laughs> 
Oh yes, it was as short as that, 22 seconds, but then it trended. Let's see how this met netizens on X yesterday. Reacting first to this development is Chris Ejofo, who says the army should be given favorable pay as a salary. These men are passing through a lot in safeguarding the country. Their salaries should be increased with other allowances as soon as possible to boost their morale and cushion the effect of inflation and economic hardship. Also, Corridi says, is it about salary or proper care, like therapy after war, looking after their families, support workers or carers for those who have serious injuries and cannot be independent anymore, and so on. Their salary shouldn't even be touched, okay? Tired Nigerian, oh, I'll switch your username. He says, they play the last soldier that complained of economic hardship and lack of 70K to visit family was out in an on-the-ground cell. You think you are in a sensible country. And final thought on this one is coming from um, Olale Khan, who says, hmm, it is very pathetic and sad when you lose a colleague during a situation like this and being human, there is no way you shall not think of it and crying. May the souls of the departed soldiers rest in peace we are sincerely grateful for your sacrifice to save nigeria absolutely we are grateful and may the souls of anyone who's lost their lives rest in perfect peace so that's how we call it a day today on kakaki social rena obio we can continue conversation on social media all right, thank you so much, Rena. I mean, it's interesting, all the stories, but one that takes the kick for me is that one, of course, on the marriage uh, of, of the 100 orphan girls. And, you know, the senior special assistant to the president on North Central Bureau says they have been interrogating the issue, talking to the girls. In fact, they were giving the speaker an opportunity to say, okay, fine, we know they're on their age, they're also girls who probably will be one to marry, but he... He, he whipped out and started to look at the religious dimension to this conversation. So going forward, like they mentioned, education, scholarship, mm -hmm. the way forward. But what is the state government also doing? You know, the state government was the governor who was mm -hmm. also going to serve as the guardian who would be present at the wedding ceremony to give out to the girls in marriage. Mm -hmm. But then the speaker is insisting right now that they are not all the as mm -hmm. the minister is claiming. And, mm -hmm. she, and he's saying that, oh, she got social media reports about this and then she just swung into action. And that mm -hmm. is not the right thing mm -hmm. as he is saying. But the minister was in our news hour yesterday mm -hmm. and she says, oh, no intimidation whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Are we going to be buying about this matter? So we see. How old are they? The question also is what happened to the orphaned male male of, of absolutely yeah, who have also absolutely. lost their parents. And then I think that the speaker is also contradicting himself because if we had extended that track up the uh -huh. video, you would hear him say that oh the parents of the orphans and we're like <laughs> parents of the orphans and look he will say semantics. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> let's see. Okay, I think they said that some people are orphaned, others still have their parents, mm -hmm. but they don't have money to execute the marriage. Anyway, but it's so much to talk about on the social media. Mm -hmm. Never a dull moment. Uh, my heart goes to the families of our soldiers, gallant soldiers that died Kali. on the theater Absolutely. of war. It's actually very pathetic, yeah, really. And uh, for those who suggested that uh, their welfare should be looked into, mm -hmm. I'm absolutely, absolutely in agreement, in agreement with that. Bad. And then for those who want to be celebrities overnight, no matter what it course oh. on the social media space. Like, want to talk really about that. Yeah. A, a little it's girl. Funny. It was really me. sad. I mean, it's I could funny. not even look at the pictures twice. Of course, they can't make the news here. I, I just look at it. One tiny rope like this that it just puts around the, the girl's bum bum. And they were telling her, climb the table, climb the table, shake your body. I'm like, gosh, what was this? To think that it was even the biological father mm. who did that to that child. The social, that, for, the social media guidance mm. to... Yeah, yeah. To promoting child mm. pornography is mm -hmm. also something we yeah. should look because at. Because usually Instagram used to ban all they of these things. Ban TikTok banned them except for X that allows them. But suddenly they she did. even has an account on Instagram where she does all of the those things. The decadence is just too much. There's so much to walk about. Anyway, let's let you go. <laughs> Rena, all do right. have a great day. You too. All right. Then. I keep topping up in black. <laughs> I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's still Kakaki, the, the African, African voice. voice. So many